Hey y'all. I am cooking supper. I'm going to give you a quick look at what I've got in there. So you can see what that looks like before I get started. I have got sausage. I'm using turkey um, sausage and onions in here. And I've had it stewing for about eight minutes. I'm going to go ahead and cancel sear just so it'll calm down and get a little quieter and you can hear me better. I'll try to talk loud over it. What I'm doing now is just using this um, spoon to deglaze some of that nice brown browning that it did with that onion and sausage. It's pan hot. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is add in some cheese tortellini. Um, I order my groceries online and I usually get the cheese filled ravioli and they didn't have it so they substituted with this which I like the tortellini too. I don't show our kitchen shears much y'all but they're sharp. They will cut your fingers and <laughs> they will cut through bone but I love them because they come apart for easy cleaning and they are super super sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and add this in so that cold cheese tortellini, maybe it will calm down that sound a little bit. Throw that around. This is going to be a real quick supper tonight, but it's one of our favorites. There we go. It's kind of calming that sizzle down. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add in uh, a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. I get a lot of questions on the can opener. So you put it on the side. I always wanted to put it on the top, but you attach it to the side of the can and you start just twisting. And you will feel as you go around the can, you'll feel when it releases the pressure and you'll know you've been all the way around. And I just felt that. Now I can pick that up still with it attached. You turn it counterclockwise and you'll hear that click and then that releases it. There is a little button on the side right here. And when you press that, press that button, it makes this claw activate. So I just take that and pull that up. I released it right in my trash can. So I'm going to pour this can, it's a 14 and a half ounce can, juice and everything in the pressure cooker. Okay, now the recipe that I'm going to share with you tells you to use two cans of these. But my husband likes Alfredo, and he likes it so much that he opened a brand new jar the other night and used just a little bit of it. So I'm going to have had it in the refrigerator. So I'm going to go ahead and finish using that. And tonight, I'm just dumping that in. I know you probably can't see that as well. I'm just going to go ahead and use up this Alfredo since he likes it so well. So I'm going to get all of that out. So when you're making it, you um, in the recipe that I'll share with you, I will tell you that it calls for two jars of the diced tomatoes, but if you want to add some Alfredo in yours, cut back one can of your tomatoes and then add an equal amount of Alfredo sauce. I've got a little bit of water here, so I'm going to put about a half a cup of water in there and just shake that up because I don't want to leave any of that Alfredo sauce in the can. And we need a little bit of liquid in the pressure cooker because I don't have both cans of that tomatoes in their juice. So I'm just gonna pour that in there. Which y'all know the scoop and spread is one of my favorite tools and it did a pretty good job at cleaning that out. Let me move that out of the way. Let's stir this around just a little bit and I'll peek this camera down in a minute so you can see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to tell you the beauty of this recipe and how quick that we'll be eating. So when I started searing, I put, you can use olive oil, you can use garlic oil. I used our basil infused oil. I put about two tablespoons of that in there. And that's what I seared my sausage and onions with. I'm going to add one teaspoon of bell pepper herb just because I love it. You can use Italian seasoning. 
Um, you can use garlic seasoning, which I am going to use garlic parmesan. I love this seasoning almost as I love my three onion and bell pepper. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in here also. And the bottom line in our lids is a teaspoon. There's two lines in there. The top line at the top of the cap is a tablespoon. I say that all the time, but just in case you're new to watching me, or you may have missed hearing me say that. That is all that I have to put in. I will be adding, when it's done, I'm gonna come back on, and we're gonna add some spinach and some Parmesan cheese. I don't need to add the spinach in now because it would just wilt and cook to shreds. So let me, um, let me tilt this camera down so you can see what I've got going on in there. So I've got the sausage, the cheese ravioli, and it was frozen right out of the freezer. My Alfredo sauce, a little bit of water, my seasonings, and then my can of tomatoes. So that's all that's gonna go in there. I have got um, somewhere, I've got four cups of spinach here in my batter bowl. This is the small batter bowl. I'm going to, while that's cooking, I'm just gonna give them a fine chop. I don't want the leaves real, real big. So I'm just gonna chop those up some and I will do that off camera while that's cooking. So now all I have to do is put the lid on. I'm gonna set it to custom for six minutes. In six minutes, it will be done and I'll release the pressure and then I'll come back on. I gotta be grating my cheese. And so I'll come back on and show you in six minutes when it's done and what it looks like after I add the spinach and the cheese in. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I have released the pressure. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump in my spinach. And I've got some cheese shredded, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my mozzarella. I mean, I'm sorry, Parmesan cheese. I decided to put a little bit of mozzarella on top, so I'm gonna put that in. And I'm going to pour in one third cup of heavy cream. So I wanted you to see what it looked like when it was done. And then I'm gonna stir this around and let that come together for just a minute. And then I will come back on and we'll put it in a bowl and I'll show you what it looks like. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I have got it out and put in a bowl. I still have a lot of that nice creamy juice in there. Um, I used our spider strainer so I could get it out without all of the juice. And I'm gonna pour this juice in a different bowl and we can put as much or as little as we want on our pasta. It smells amazing, my husband said. Uh, is it done? <laughs> I said, I'm almost. So I'm gonna put some in here so you can see. I did um, add the spinach and cream that you saw me do earlier, and then I put it in this bowl and shredded some mozzarella. I thought, I'm gonna put a little bit of mozzarella on top also. So I've got that in there and it is just going to be delicious. Our picky eaters are not here, so they might not like the green spinach in it, but it's gonna be delicious. So you can leave the spinach out if you're not a fan, but it really doesn't have any flavor, and it's good for us. So thank you for watching, and I will share the recipe in the comments, and six minutes is all it took to cook this. So we've all got six minutes. Just I love the pressure cooker because we can just throw stuff in there and go on about our day, and it cooks for us. It's my little personal chef. Thanks, y'all. Have a great night. Bye-bye.